positive. <laughs> oh shit. No, I feel fine. I think, uh, I'm trying to track it back. I think it was last Friday night. And then into Saturday, I felt I was kind of sick, so. <sighs> I feel fine. It's just I wake up every day sounding stuffed up more f less than feeling super stuffed up whatever <laughs> everything's gravy big proponent of prolonged fasting uh last sunday i did feel the well maybe it was last saturday into last sunday i was feeling the symptoms of like having the flu, having body aches and a fever, feeling like I was sick. And uh, into Sunday I was just like, okay, I'm gonna try and prolong fast again, which is great timing because, you know, Thanksgiving was on Saturday again as well, so I was like, a lot of extra food in the body anyways, like, it's not what my body is desiring, <laughs> per se, or what I like to do. But anyway, you know, it was welcome to do a 48-hour fast, and it definitely kicked the symptoms out, and the sickness... As far as I'm concerned, you know, I, I know it's hanging on. <clears throat> or maybe I got COVID in between being well and kicking whatever the hell that was one day. And somewhere between. But whatever. I'm feeling good. Now I'll be with you guys to make more <laughs> videos about whatever. Whatever we're into. Looks like I had someone who I've never seen comment. It's amazing, you know, like, wow, I had one person comment on a video recently that I don't know. Things are really changing for me in the world. <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome, you know, to see one or any comments. And, you know, at the same time, I'm over it. I, I just want to make quality and um, helpful things of value for, for everybody. So, whatever, whoever's commenting, it's great. I appreciate you engaging, but I don't need it. And... I don't need to see huge numbers of uh, views either, you know, like even, you know, honestly, I do want, I do want YouTube to be a source of income for me and, and uh, a decent one. I think it's cool to see um, YouTubers out there who are super abundant because of it. It's, it's awesome. I've been checking out one guy lately besides Clark Kegley um, I'll just leave him in the, uh, um, in the YouTube description of this one uh, I do see and I don't know why I have to do this but like I do see <laughs> a lot of the uh, content he has and and um, it is uh, in, in the transformation, uh, self-development area, but along with what is in that uh, community and that um, area of uh, content, do we always have to call it content? This is a more buzzword stuff okay in that 
area. It, it's it's almost synonymous with um, a new consciousness and the world evolving and our our consciousness evolving awareness presence you know those things that <sighs> we're gonna need and are really needing right now and my big teachers I, I think I've said this before Eckhart Tolle Dr. Joe Dispenza and things that I think about as well like who I would want to um, kind of like do similar things of <laughs> would be like um, Rick Beato like he does these uh, videos called what makes this song great and he's privy to getting his hands on like the isolated tracks from studios of uh, famous songs and, and uh, musicians so he's well connected and everything but I find myself like wanting to do things similar to that and and I, I thought of a, a good way to do it and my way would be like the the poor or the broke person's way to do it because I'm not privy I don't have that connection to be able to find or get my hands on isolated tracks of um, things and, and I would not in any way do it exactly like he would but I would be so enthusiastic as to tell you why I am inspired by something you know like I was thinking the other day about how inspiring it was to be listening to uh, the Mars Volta's uh, Francis the Mute, like the first track, and then all of a sudden the second track is also very cool, and it was like one of their only singles, The Widow it's called. And then the whole album, I've always liked it, and, and I go in, back and forth in in loving it but then there's times like uh, yeah, I think it was a couple days ago where I was just like oh man this this is a really solid record in in its just delivery of how experimental and cool and and uh, virtuosic like that that drumming and and uh, even the guitar playing is is impressive in its own right. I love uh, what is his name? Omar Rodriguez Lopez. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I love. You know, like the two main guys in Mars Volta, Omar Rodriguez Lopez and Cedric Bixler Zavala. Maybe that's why I like to call myself Blake Nolan Hansen, even though it is my name. You know, like. I definitely want to be considered a, a, a an assassin that uh, goes after presidents. <laughs> oh, just kidding! Come on, uh, that's you know. Think about it though, like James Wilkes Booth and oh boy, here I'm just all over the place again, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe it's just go right into. Um, doing a, a reaction video or, or uh, why I think this would be inspiring to your uh, ears and your mind. We'll just go right into Francis the Mute by the incredible one and only the Mars Volta. And maybe I'll go into all I know about them, I don't know, or just some details, yeah.